This video is sponsored by Black and White Fire Starters. I will be using these fire starters in this video. These fire starters are excellent to carry in your backpack in case of an emergency. When you need a fire quick, all natural fire starting materials ramped up with a super duper dose of highly flammable goodness. Please check out the link in the description box for more details. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the show. <clears throat> this 
soon as I started cooking this steak out here. And damn coyote started going at it. I could hear him howling, crying, like one of them's watching, letting the other ones know what's going on. I simply just yelled out, come get some, mother <laughs> Give him a Bigfoot, Bigfoot growl. I just do that about every 15 minutes. Come get some! Well, <clears throat> it was a long, cold night, to say the least. Sleeping in that hammock. My ass was cold all night. Just my ass, though. Because I was inside my uh, BB cover with my military sleeping bag. And a wool blanket down in, in there with it. <clears throat> Man, I could hear the coyotes crying and screaming all night long but you know I kept I kept you know yelling and making a lot of noise before I went to sleep so I'm pretty sure I scared them off because they, they sounded like they were further in the distance they just they kept getting further and further and if any of them came around while I was sleeping I had no idea nope nothing nothing around the camp was messed with but uh I'm going to eat some breakfast. I'm going to get started working on this shelter. The reason I came down here last night is because I I wanted to be here first thing in the morning. And the best way to do that is, is, to, is to overnight in the woods. And uh, <clears throat> I, tried, uh, I tried putting my hammock between the uh, two uh, tripods. But that didn't work because it was pulling the uh, tripods down toward me. They never fell on me, but uh, so I ended up tying two trees, tying the hammock to two trees behind the tripods there. And I just put the tarp over it. I 
Oh yeah, coffee. I had to get this fire going like ASAP when I got up because I was so freaking cold. It got down to uh, 20, like 27 degrees last night. It's been warm the past few days. This past week has been like super warm up in the 70s during the daytime. Now we got a cold front that came through and it's cold again. I think the high today is only going to be like 40, 46 or something like that. But I know it's not as cold as most of the country, but uh, it's definitely uh, below freezing. 32 Fahrenheit is freezing here in the States. So uh, 27 is pretty cold in my book. I'm not wearing any thermals under my pants. I do have a thermal under my t-shirt, under this hoodie. And that's all I'm wearing. But uh, I'm going to get some breakfast in me and uh, get busy. So I wasn't happy with the tripod that I have back here for the rear support I felt like it wasn't sturdy enough so I'm going to fix that right now we're going to tie a brand new brand new fraps and wraps Drop that red pole. This is still a good tripod. I can use this maybe by the fire or something. I'll figure that out later. I'm leaving this ridge pole. I'm going to replace this ridge pole. Whew. Starting to sweat. That ridge pole is not sturdy enough. It's too seasoned. It's going to break. So I'm going to replace it. I think it's important that you unfold your tripods correctly. So that they're supporting each other and not relying on the paracord itself. Which is not what I'm doing. But You roll them the right way. Now, that's what I'm talking about. The two make a Y, and then the outside rests between both of them, and not relying on paracord alone to hold it. So now I just gotta spread that out the proper distance and put the ridge pole back on it and make sure everything's lined up with the front and then I'll go cut another ridge pole
I'm getting pretty chilled. It's cold out here. So I think I'm going to get the fire going again and make some lunch. I'm really glad I decided to replace the tripod that was right there for the back support. It just was not sturdy enough. This thing is going to be sweet, man. It's going to be sweet. All right, check it out. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a raised bed. Everything is going to be suspended off the ground attached to these tripods. So we're going to have a pole, pole going this way. On this side, we're going to have a pole going this way. And then we're going to have cross poles. The back cross pole is going to be on the outside of the tripod because I want to be able to be in the back of it. That's why I made my support in the back. Because if I did a raised bed right, right dead center of this tripod, I have no coverage for rain. My raised bed will be attached to this tripod. It will be floating. Cheesy broccoli rice for the win. I just boiled a whole canteen full of water. So I can let that cool down while I'm working. So I have plenty of water to water to drink. <clears throat> this is a decent little spot here, but I walked down the creek a ways that there's a lot there's a lot better places I could have done this but I'm gonna make the most of this spot what I like to do with these cheap tarps is reinforce the grommets that to the uh, other four corners, other three corners. And then we'll see if we can get her strapped up. It is freaking sleeting. Freezing rain mix right now. They wasn't calling for this today. But I got this tarp up just in time, buddy. <laughs> 